I know that some of you guys have seen my video on how I became a data analyst and I got overwhelmed with so many comments and so many questions and so many people were basically being able to relate to my struggle. Um, some of you basically commented and said that my video was very motivational, inspirational. Some were saying that they're living the same lifestyle right now, living paycheck to paycheck. In that video, I showed you exactly how I, I talked about how I became a data analyst. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can become a data analyst by breaking down the four steps that it takes to pivot. I know why you're here and you know why you're here. So let's go ahead and jump right in. start with step one now a lot of you probably want to say well Mika the step one everybody knows I, know. blah, 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 blah. I need to basically get my you know start some mindset blah 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 well yeah it does it does start with mindset because life is going to happen regardless so if you don't have the right mindset to pivot into this new career then you're going to stop at a drop of a hat something is going to happen where it's going to cause you to say you want to stop or because you're tired or because you just don't feel like it today that can't be the mindset that you have you've got to make sure that you push through starting with asking yourself why why do you even want to become a data analyst are you looking for stability are you looking for financial freedom are you looking for work-life balance are you looking for flexibility are you just looking to work remote what is it that is your why is this basically your dream job and then also where where do you want to land do you want to land as a data analyst a data engineer a data scientist where do you want to land so as long as you have your why plus your where and that is anchored into your transition then you will be it'll be so much easier for you to focus when fear and doubt steps in because there will be some doubt there will be some fear because a lot of us are hearing that, oh, well, you know, the market is saturated now and that, you know, or maybe I'm too old or I don't have a degree. Listen, none of that stuff matters, okay? The thing is, is that when it comes down to being saturated, yes, it is a lot more competitive now, but that does not mean the jobs don't exist. Go on Indeed and you will see the amount of jobs that are out there. Understand why. Because for me, my why was I was tired of being broke. I was tired of living paycheck to paycheck. I was tired of not being able to do anything. Like that gets exhausting. You can only pay half of the light bill. Like that is stressful. Not know knowing that you can't pay your bills. That you're going to pay this, but that means something else got to give. Or you got to push this back to the next paycheck, but then that means on the next paycheck, something else is going to have to, something else is ain't going to get paid. Like you can't even sleep at night because your brain is just constantly going because you're stressed because you're so busy worrying about money all the time you gotta say that i'm tired of being sick and tired i'm tired of being broke i'm tired of living paycheck to paycheck i'm tired of all of that and then my thing is is that consistency is a lot consistency is everything and the one thing about me is i was the kind of person who would always start something and then never finish it like i get so motivated in the beginning i'm excited about it and i'll go all in right and then maybe two weeks mm -mm. I don't even touch it for a month. We're on we're on YouTube and we're looking at data life as a data analyst and we're excited and we're just doing it and then now that's what we want to do, right? You someone you saw someone's video, you got motivated and all of that. So now you on Indeed, you searching, boop boop blah, blah blah blah. But then next thing you know, life happens. Or maybe you sit there and say self doubt comes in and you tell yourself, well, it's not that bad. I mean, if I guess if I just fix my attitude or maybe if I just put a little bit forth more effort or well at least I got a job because a lot of people out there don't have one and that kind of thing so this is the things that you tell yourself then four or five months later comes back around your job pisses you off you fed up and now guess what on Sunday night you back scrolling again you back on ND you back at looking day in life and then sometimes you'll sit there and say to yourself if I had just kept going four months ago where would I be where would I be right now if I hadn't quit four months ago right and so then that's the thing so you just got to make sure that you stay motivated and make sure that you don't quit because life is going to happen regardless
Build your foundational skills. So when it comes down to that, so the second thing, so once you get your mindset, when you realize where you want to go, now you can basically figure out the game plan. You can now figure out what path you want to take. So one of the things you definitely need to know when it comes down to data analytics is that you definitely need to know Excel. We use Excel a lot for like cleaning and validating and manipulating our data. So we have to make sure that it's clean and so that the data that we, uh, that we report is definitely accurate. So that means you want to make sure you know all your lookups and also utilizing pivot tables. Then secondly, you want to make sure that you know at least your SQL. SQL you have to know, so you're going to need to know at least your basic to intermediate. Nobody's asking you to be advanced. I have a whole workbook that basically breaks down everything for you, that tells you exactly the type, exactly what you need to learn in Excel and also within SQL to be a data analyst. Now, the another thing is it's going to be data visualization. You need to have some sort of visualization tool. So whether it is Power BI, Tableau, Click, Looker, or even SSRS, you have to at least have the basic uh, fundamentals of recreating reports. So one of the things I get asked a lot is basically, can they do the role of a data analyst? And the one thing I do tell them is that it's not just about learning tools such as SQL or Power BI or anything like that, but it is about making sure that you think like a data analyst and that you also can be a problem solver. That's the reason why I am so glad that today's video is sponsored by Brilliant. Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver with thousands of visual interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. What I really love is how Brilliant makes math feel approachable. You don't have to be a math genius to start. The courses let you begin at your level and then guide you into deeper challenges, turning abstract concepts into something that finally clicks. And since the focus is on real world math skills, you never feel like you're wasting your time. And then there's the data side, which I know matters most for so many of you watching. Brilliant doesn't just skim the surface. They take you from basics like creating clean visualizations all the way into advanced topics like algorithms and regression models. And you actually get to explore data sets inspired by companies like Airbnb, Spotify, and Starbucks. So you're practicing the same kind of analysis businesses do every single day. But that's not even the best part. The best part is you can learn from anywhere, whether you're at your desk, on the couch, or sneaking in a quick session from your phone. It's easy to stay consistent and keep burning momentum. To try Brilliant for free, head to brilliant.org slash housecalldewberry2 or scan the QR code on the screen or click on the link in the description box below. And if you sign up today, you can get 20% off your annual premium subscription, which unlocks unlimited daily access to everything they offer. So if you're serious about becoming a data analyst or just want to strengthen your math or problem solving skills, Brilliant is hands down one of the first places to start. So what are you waiting for? Now, there are different opportunities and different ways for you to actually learn. So one of the ways that you can do it is you can actually go back to college. You do actually can get a college degree, even though a college degree is not required um, for you to be a data analyst. But some people decide to take that route. Now, this is a route for people who have two, four, six years to invest um, in order to do that. Now, for me, I didn't have two years, four years, or even six years to go back to school. I have that right now spirit. So that means I needed to find something that was going to help me pivot right now. The second option is going to be self-taught or you can learn online. Now there is a full of opportunities for you online. As you know, Alex the Analyst, he has a whole boot camp that's on YouTube. You guys can always go on there. I know that Tableau has like a Tableau Public and all of that stuff is absolutely free to you. And these are definitely free resources. And then I will also have this information for you down in the description box below where you can find free resources to be able to learn online. Now, this option is for people who feel like that, again, that they're cost conscious and they prefer to learn at their own pace. So for me, as you saw in my last video, I did go to a bootcamp called Culberry School of Data Science and Analytics. Bootcamp was my route because I needed, again, I needed something that was going to give me structure and I needed somebody who's going to hold me accountable. Now, there are tons of other bootcamps such as like Triple 10 that's out there, which is more beginner friendly. They focus on job prep and a lot of project building. So you can pick and choose what route you want to take. Again, all this information will be down in the description box below for you. 
once you learn everything that you need to learn or you at least have made it through 90 percent of it then go ahead and start crafting up your resume now now resumes have to be a little bit different because back in 2016 this is the resume that i used but this cannot be the same resume that i can use in 2025. you have to make sure that your resume is definitely ats friendly so that means that there is no icons there is no color there is no it's no double column so you just want to make sure that it's one column you want to make sure that your resume is also one to two pages max so what you want to make sure is that every bullet point that you have starts with an action verb and then end it with how you help save the company money or time and that's the one thing that's going to help you stand out step number four when you are applying for jobs so it is okay that if you just apply for like stepping roles that does not mean that it, the, the title actually have to say data analytics it can basically be a reporting analyst it could be an operation analyst it could be a qa it could be a business analyst all of these are stepping stones into becoming an actual data analyst you're actually doing the exact same thing it's just a different title they're doing the exact same role and they're willing to pay you for it so you make sure that when you are applying if you feel like data analytics is too complicated then branch out if you feel like it's too saturated branch out and once you get that job you want to make sure within the first 90 days because that's how long it's going to take you it took me three months to get acclimated on my job so for the first 90 days make sure that you listen and that you ask questions all righty anything you don't know ask and another thing is is that nobody's saying that you have to know everything please do not think that you have to know everything before you start applying if you get a job um you start looking online and you're looking at the jade on um, the job description if you can do at least 80 percent of it apply because no one is going to expect you to know 100 you're going to document everything so that way you don't have to come back and say how did you do this again and x y and z so I know that this journey is not easy and you don't have to do it alone okay like when I came through this it was tough and it was hard and there were plenty of times that I wanted to quit but I could not because I had my why hit that subscribe button join the community and I'm here to help you okay there is uh, the information for resources down in the description box below the boot camps that I mentioned is also going to be in the description box below if you feel like this video helped you give me a thumbs up because it does help my channel and that way I can be able to put out more content like this. Let's walk this pivot into data together. See you in the next video. Bye.